Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant, and today I'm going through a marketing funnel example. We're going to look at how to use content to convert more clients. The reason why you create content is so that you can convert more clients. So we want to look at a model for how to do that at a high level. So let's begin at the beginning. Why are we doing this? We create content because we know that, that our best client expects to see content. We live in an age where information is literally in our pockets. So your client expects to be able to hear about your business and then immediately do some research to figure out if, if you're legitimate. If you're not creating content, then they can't look you up and they don't know if you're real or not. Second, it's the content that does the differentiation. They're going to look at the content before they interact with you. So the only way that they're going to know that your company is specifically different than the company next door is if you show them with clear, compelling, consistent content. It's your content that does the differentiation way before they talk to you. Third is you want the client to be, to be prepared before you talk. So before you get on the phone, you want that best client of yours to have already committed to doing business with you. You want them to be clear that you are their best option before they begin to interact with you. And you can't do that if you haven't created great content. So when looking at, at a marketing funnel, it's got some basic ingredients here. It begins with the lead source. You've got to have a follow-up series, and you need to have a productized service on as the as the third piece i'm going to explain each of these very very quickly so let's begin with the lead source where is your best client now this video doesn't focus specifically on the lead source there's some other videos i have that do that but there are three basic categories for where you get leads you can buy them which is through paid advertising you can borrow them which they call earned which is through some sort of partnership that you strike or you can build them because they're already part of your internal audience so there's three way three ways to do it either of those work and you just want to find the one that is your fastest fastest advantage so now let's look up look at the follow-up series so at this point you've already got you've got leads coming to you now the question is what is the content that that, that they receive so so that they can differentiate you from anybody else who might want to compete so here's what that looks like so you you've got to begin with the major transformation you have gotta make a big promise and so let's assume that you are a uh, consultant in the scholarship space so you help high school seniors find scholarships to great colleges so that is actually what you want to begin with that's the major transformation is how to get you because you're talking to a parent now right that that that's the first person you're going to interact with how to get your high school senior a scholarship to a top tier college that's what they want they want their high school senior in a top tier college with a scholarship that's the big promise you make it's not scholarship consulting nobody wants consulting on scholarships nobody wants to know about more scholarships what they want is to be at a great school with 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 a scholarship right that's what they want so you got to be clear about what the major major transformation is so you would simply offer that up as a first piece of content you would describe in general how that works so now here's the next thing that you do the next piece of content that you would send them will be to explain the first step of that so the first the first step is is to select the schools that fit your high school senior right now what you don't want to say is great audit and, and eliminating schools that's exactly what you're going to have to do you're going to have to look at their grades and you're going to have to determine determine if their grades will will can get them into certain schools but when you say it that way it's not very interesting it's much more interesting to talk about it from the students perspective what are the best schools that fit your high school high school senior you know that fit means we've got to match grades and transcripts with with schools but it's the fit idea that's much more comfortable for your best client to to take in so you simply explain how that works so, so now you take step number two is you tell them that we're going to select the scholarships that fit the high school senior so now we're going to look specifically at scholarships and we're going to see which of those scholarships matches well with the schools that you've chosen what you don't want to say is we're going to do a grade audit and eliminate scholarships 
Yes, you are going to have to audit their grades, and yes, you're going to have to eliminate certain scholarships. But that doesn't sound nearly as interesting, right? So it's much more interesting to make it plain that, that the result of this work, the result of the grade audit and the eliminating scholarships, is to select the scholarships that fit the high school senior, right? So, that, so then that is step number two. You simply explain that. So then in the third piece of content, you explain the next step which is how to stand out from the competition in the admissions and scholarship race, right? It's about standing out. What you don't want to talk about is essay, essay writing and interview prep, or you don't want to lead with essay writing and, and, and interview prep. That sounds boring, and it sounds like work, right? But the result of the essay writing and the interview prep is standing out from the competition in the admissions and, and scholarship race. Your best client knows that they have to do work. That's not surprising to them. But you, you need to make it clear for them why they do the work. And it also needs to be very clear that you, as the consultant, can help them get that end result. And for this step, it's about standing out from the competition. Right? So the next step here is, is you would respond to the results. And so now, again, the reality is they may be waitlisted, they may have to get a second opinion, or they might be rejected. But that's not what you want to lead with. What you want to help them understand is how to respond to their results, no matter what they are. So they can always have a classy, appropriate, professional response. So the idea here is in your follow-up sequence, you're helping them understand what the results are on along the way, to that major transformation, right? So if they want the major transformation, then they have to go through this step, this step, this step, or this step. Or let me say it another way. If they want this major, major transformation, they're gonna have to go through this result, that result, this result, and that result. And the reason why I included the yeses and the noes is because we, as the consultants who are, who are technically oriented, we wanna talk about the work that has to be done. This work, this work, that work and that work but our best client is not interested in the work they're interested in the results so as you build out your funnel and you structure your content you've got to be sure to talk about the results at each step of the process so now let's look at that productized service which by the way is going to follow the exact same model that you use to communicate right so there's not much different there but as you build out the service, and now I'm talking to you as the consultant, when you build out your, your you establish your major transformation and you establish your major, you know, four set of steps, there's a difference between what your client needs to hear and the work you need to do. There's a very clear difference. Again, as consultants, we're technically oriented and we want to talk about the work you need to do. The client doesn't care. The client cares about, again, the benefits. So here's one example of that in, um, for, for this, for this uh, scholarship consulting example. So the first thing we're going to do, this is what the client needs to hear. So client, the first thing we're going to do is select the best schools that fit your high school senior. That, that's what the client wants to hear about. Now, here's what you know you have to do. You know you have to interview that student and figure out where they want to go. You have to look at their, at their transcript, their classes, and, and their grades to, to see how well they've been doing. And you need, you need to discuss their extracurriculars. What other interests do they have? You know that you have to do this work. But if you explain all this work, all this, all this work to, your, to your best client, you will totally lose them. And so that's the idea. As you are building out your productized service, you begin with that, ma with that major transformation, and then you walk them through what they need to hear. Here's major step one client. Here's what we're doing today. We're going to sort out the schools that fit your high school senior, that, that fit your high school senior. And so when they understand that, you can click, you can then go through the work that, that's, that's, that's necessary. So for the sake of, of the video, there, I will, I'll skip the other steps here, but there are further examples if you need to see that in the other section. So let's bring it on home. This is your strategic advantage. And what do I mean by that? So let, let me break that down. Again, your best client wants to know what they're getting into and they expect to see content. They need to understand what the engagement will look like before they interact with you. And your content, the clarity of your content, breaking down the results at each step helps them do that before they call your number. 
your client or your content does the qualifying and the vetting. So as you explain the results of what happens at each step, and as you understand, as you explain how they get to those results, your client will either be excited by that process or scared of that process. And it really doesn't matter to you which one they are. You just want them to, to, feel, to feel an emotion, either attracted or not attracted. And so, but the better, sharper, clearer, more courageous your content, then the better, sharper decision your client can make about being with you or not with you in regards to getting their task accomplished. Thirdly, is your best client is less interested in your work. They are much more interested in their result. So as you build out the funnel and you create the content, it's incredibly important that you focus on the result one step at a time. Here's what happens to you here. Here's what happens to you here. Here's what happens to you here and here. And when they're excited about that, then you can engage them in the work that has to be done. To be clear, your client isn't afraid of the work. Your best client isn't afraid of the work. They want to do the work. But more importantly, they want to get the result. And so you've got to make sure that their result is always clear. That's their big reason why. So when you tie these things together, now you are strategically creating content that gives real value, not only to your client, but back to your business. Clients understand what you do. They are excited about working with you. And so when they call, when they call, they, they have already made the decision that you are their best option. This is why we create content. It's not for the fun of it, you know, not for link building and all those kinds of things. We create content because it helps convert clients. And when you think about it this way along your productized services, it greatly increases that chance. So thank you so much for listening. Please download uh, the summary and the mind map of this video. Use it. And I look forward to, sp to speaking with you soon.